So the only thing I want to say in regards to that is like, I feel like there's a line with that. So like, for example, I feel like, you Roger. know, if you're going to be with someone and you're going to have relationship with them and a sexual relationship with them i feel like there's a line of consent specifically like okay so i'm consenting to be with you and having sex with you and all that stuff oh so i'm going to jail but because you're not being with other women so i feel like once you break that there's like a line of consent that you've broken so you know it's kind of like it sucks. Like it, it says a lot about you and your. Fair character. enough. Fair enough. And that, that's that's a very valid critique. I, mm-hmm. I mean, we tell guys all the time, like if you're going to be open, like you should tell your girl so she kind of knows what to expect. Exactly. Yeah. But the reason why most guys aren't going to tell them is because kind of you guys are giving me a knee jerk reaction right now. You have an issue with it. So most guys aren't yeah. going to be honest and tell you, hey, by the way, I want to go smash other chicks because he might lose most you. girls are, are, aren't OK with that. Yeah. Like they're going to have they're going to have a problem with it. And, and the reason why is because, I mean, I don't want to go into a rant here. Yeah. But what I've come to realize is that women from like the United States, from Canada, from Australia, New Zealand, et cetera. Basically women from the West in general have a little bit of a sense of entitlement and they think that they deserve the best type of man all to themselves, which is kind of funny and comical because that's just not the way the world works. Mm -hmm. Since the beginning of time, you know, the Kings, the Sultans, the CEOs, et cetera, they've always had multiple women, but only here, you know, in the West, do we tell women, Hey, you're equal to men. They got to play by the same set of rules as you etc and that's just not the way things go powerful men have always had sex with a bunch of different girls whether their wife or their girl knew it but my thing is i just say that's the reality accept it if you're the main chick you won these other girls are just getting dick and nothing else you're the one getting the house the ring and everything yeah. like that yeah. um but i agree mm-hmm. guys should be honest about it yeah but yeah. because you know there's a whole factor into it too like stds and you know all this kind of understandable stuff and, but know. that's why this podcast is popping the reason why is because this is one of the few platforms where guys tell women to their face the truth and and you guys react kind of like you are right now like oh fuck what the hell because men can't be honest with women about these types of things because what's gonna happen if i tell you i want to smash other chicks well one of two things gonna happen either a i'm gonna lose you right and then i gotta go out and get other girls even if if i'm a higher status guy it's still gonna be harder for me to get women and then number two if we have a a marriage or a family or children i'm risking losing those kids because of what i want to do because when it comes to getting married in the West, like guys put up a lot on the line. You know what I'm saying? The divorce rates are high. Men lose their money. They lose their wealth. They lose their children. They lose alimony. So basically, course, he's describing yeah. in a nutshell why most guys cheat. Why and guys cheat and lie guys about Guys that, that you date, especially here in Miami, they're tall for the most part, maybe successful. And you're probably wondering, why is he playing games with me? He's not, he's not playing games. He's just saying, like, for example, he's going to have other options, too. And that being said, we have other options. You know, uh, it makes you look kind of like, kind of like uh, I want to say, played. But mm-hmm. he's gonna cheat regardless. Yeah. But once mm-hmm. you know that, okay, we do why the crying Rolls Royce or Toyota Corolla. Yeah. Men, men are as only faithful as their options, man. We're yeah, just keeping sure. it real. We talk about the negative side of men and women, and the negative side for men is they're gonna be as faithful as their options. The negative side of women is most of you guys can't handle the truth, and a lot of women don't operate in reality. A lot of girls live in a Disney fairy tale where I'm sugar and spice and everything nice, and I'm special, and mm-hmm. you know no one can critique me, and you know no one can tell me I'm fat or I'm annoying or whatever and I deserve the best man and he's yeah. going to be monogamous to me and that's just a lie it's Amen. not the world works. messenger yeah you know we're, we're just telling you the truth I totally can I just agree. add something cuz you guys have been talking about how like oh you got a successful man you got this you got that he's not the only one that's special in here like well, I'm I'm special too I'm bringing something that otherwise he won't be with me I'm successful too I'm someone that is independent in my own way I'm bringing something to him that's why he chose me as the main chick What are you bringing I don't know. Like, <laughs> uh, well, if I, if for me, I'm gonna be um, my own business owner one day. I'm gonna be running my own shit. Like, I don't need this man as much as he doesn't need me. I don't need him. But we're together because we have love for each other. So why are you gonna go around fuck other girls just because I'm? You want to because you want to remind yourself that you're hot and you can get anyone you want. I'm hot and I can get anyone I want. Well, here's but the problem. I just, but I'm not Hold out on. there. Can I can I interject for a second? I don't think that men have sex for love. Yeah. No, I know because men so, fuck what they want, what they can. We fuck with who we want. That's the only difference between us. Yeah, um, but <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if I'm bringing something to the plate, I need to be like, I don't know. What are you bringing? Yeah, exactly. she said her her, her career running owning a business. And I'm being gonna bring bomb sex too. Like you're not you're not gonna here, have here's the problem. My, my own. Like, if I told you, me and you, let's say me and your relationship, right? Hypothetically, of course, because you're very um, <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> And and I told you I'm bringing to the relationship. I'm bringing up my awesome wardrobe, uh, my amazing sneaker collection. I'm bringing my, uh, you know, my jewelry. I'm bringing my 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 fleek. I'm I'm a really well dressed guy. Mm-hmm. What would you say to that? I mean, that, that's good. You're bringing something. But no, like, but what would you? But like, what would you say to that? Like, as far as like, 
does it matter? Is it important? Is it not? It's not important. It's like you bring you have to bring something plus to my life, like knowledge. You bring in something to my life. I'm, I don't care about the material. Like I don't care. Like, like he said, would you rather have a Corolla or a Rolls Royce? I yeah. don't care as long as I have. So love fantastic. And- so just like you kind of have that indifference that I'm bringing my wardrobe and my jewelry and the way I look to the relationship, that's how men feel when you talk about I'm bringing my career or my businesses. I'm men aren't attracted that. to the same. But I'm just using it as an yeah. example because um, a lot of women make the mistake of thinking, well, I'm educated. I make money. I'm successful. Unfortunately for you guys, that doesn't hold as much weight as women think it does. It holds a lot of weight for me as a man, but it does not hold the same amount of weight for you as a woman. Yeah, we expect a lot from you men than we expect from women. That no, 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 no. It's, it's not. It's it's not the uh the, I mean, but what's expected. It's just that that's insignificant to us. Like your career is good for you, but it doesn't really benefit me in any way. Just yeah. like me telling you I have an amazing wardrobe and I dress well benefits me, but it doesn't benefit you in yeah. any way. No, I get so, it. Men and women look for completely different things in the opposite gender. And I think uh, one of the biggest mistakes modern day women make is thinking, I have a career, I'm ambitious, and I'm independent. Men really don't care about that. And as a matter of fact, the, the more money a guy makes, the less he cares about it. Yeah. That's no, because That's men it. have low standards. There <laughs> we go. All right. Oh, shout out to the poor star. And Most for somebody. men. <laughs> Here we go. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you don't sure. care. If she's younger, she's hotter. You guys don't care if she has a good job. You'll fuck a barista. You don't care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're just trying to get your mm-hmm. nut yeah. off. Yeah. And yeah, that's why women care if men have money, they have a career, they look good. You know, we have higher standards than you guys. Okay. So mm. let, let's peel it back a layer. Why? Because. Why do they care about the money and the security? Why, why do they care about that? Because I think women are more emotional, more long term. Guys are just trying to please themselves in the moment. Uh, well, uh, is that your final answer? Yes. <laughs> so no, the real reason why is because <laughs> women have a way higher stake in in the biology process. If you get pregnant by a man, you're stuck with a child for nine months. So you need to ensure that the man that you procreate with is adequate to protect you, the child, and be able to get you know, resources for you and your kid. It's a, it's a biological instinct, which is why women look for these things. Mm-hmm. Income, height, strength, confidence. The reason why women have a laundry list of requirements is because the process of having children is way more invasive for you guys than it is for us. So therefore, you must be far more selective with your partner. Men, however, we could spread nuts until the day we die and have ch- children with a bunch of different women. So for us, our standards aren't as high. It's biological. It's not necessarily men just have low standards. It, there's actually like a very deep ingrained biological reason why men are less sexually selective than women are. So, I mean, I guess you could try to say it that way and make it an insult like, you just will fuck a barista, you'll fuck anything. It's it's a lot deeper than just that. And men just don't have as many requirements of women and women still fail to get guys. So who's really losing here? <laughs> you know I what I'm saying? Know. So basically you're saying you're okay with having a child with someone who's not that pretty, who doesn't have a great body composition, just because you don't have to go through like, a pregnancy? Is that what you're saying? So you're okay with that? Having no. a baby mama who what? you're not like physically attracted to just because you were trying to get your nut off? What I'm saying is that men are not as sexually selective as women are. And if guys didn't have like all these things in place, honestly, if you told the guy, hey, man, just run around and fuck a bunch of chicks, you'll never be responsible for the kid and you can do whatever the hell you want. They'll run around and fuck everybody. They do but, that anyways. Yeah, and they do it anyway any, to some degree. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, it just goes to show, like, the biological urge for men is far different than it is for women. So men are not as selective. It's not, I mean, you could try to dress it up and shame it. Like, oh, you're just fuck anything. You'll fuck up barista, whatever. I mean, if you left, if, if the guy had the ability to, he would be more selective. He'd get hotter girls. Like, if you look at, like, you know, an A-list celebrity, look at a rapper, whatever, that's why they're d- hanging around models. Because it's like, all right, I can get, I have an abundance of women coming after me. Let me just get the best. But very few men are actually in that position where they choose. Most men... Uh, have to get the girl to choose them. But when you're a certain caliber guy, you know, you choose the girls, which is rare for a lot of guys. But you said that in a separate podcast, you said you would, most men would choose a girl who's hotter and they go with what the man says yep. as opposed to a woman who has a career and is a yeah. high value woman. Yeah. yeah. So Submissive. that's kind of contradictory. So which one is it? Well, you got to remember that for men, there's there's having sex and then there's taking serious in a relationship. Two different scenarios. Two different scenarios. So I think uh, that's another thing, too, that like so a couple mistakes that modern day women make. Number one, putting way too much emphasis on their career. And then number two, conflating sexual attraction with relationship attraction. 
So in other words, there's girls at the nightclub that you'll be like, damn, she's bad. I want to smash. But then there's other girls that are like, oh, damn, I'm a wife her. And a lot of the times, the girls that you're going to wife might not necessarily be as sexy as the girls that you want to have sex with. Because the girls that you might, might want to wife are going to be a little bit more modest. They might be a little bit more boring. But it's safe. Okay? So that's kind of how guys look at women. Just like you guys have dudes that you put in the friend zone and then guys that you fuck just because they're hot and they're attractive. Right? Same thing with, with, uh, with men. We have two different... You know what I'm saying? Pools of women that we're going to fuck around with, just like women have different pools of men that they fuck around with. So I have a hypothetical question. Well, oh, not shit. hypothetical, but yeah. Was that, does that answer your question, though, before? It first? does. I see what you're saying. I just think You don't like it. I don't. No, well. <laughs> hey, man. That's life. Hey, hey, you, it's the saying. truth. You don't have to like it, but that's, that's, that's the God honest truth. Like, if a man is successful and has money and means, and, and money, like, he's, uh, and he has two options, a woman that's hyper successful and 31 versus a woman that's not as successful but 21, and that girl that's 21 is more compliant, he's going to go with that younger, more attractive girl. Sexually, right? Not... He might wife her if, she, if she's a good candidate. For, I, I would say it's better to wife that girl. She could give you children. She's not going to have as much uh, life experience on her. She's not going to be as damaged. You know what I'm saying? It is what it, that, And I hate to say it like that. It sounds terrible for me to say it that way, but that's just the way men look at women. Like, you, just like you don't want a guy that's too young that doesn't have enough life experience to lead you. Men don't want a woman that has too much life experience that won't follow him. Because they're Same insecure. Thing. Men are insecure. They are. <laughs> I think the hardest part. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Stop yeah, it. Hold on. Nope. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I told you you're insecure because you want a guy that's older than you, makes more money than you, taller than you, more confident, more ambitious than you? I never said all that. But, but, but what if I told you that? Because that's what most women want. I'm not most women. Double standard, though. We, we, we just played a video on double standards. Right. He's just saying it like the opposite. So turn it around. He's not calling you insecure for what you want or, or anybody in here. But because what he wants is insecure. Make and sense? that's my opinion, though. If you're OK with it, then. God well, no, bless. no. I, it's just I, I just find it very funny that men's standards are almost always laughed at and shamed and insulted. Right. Or met with some kind of shaming language. Insecure. We can't win. Versus like <laughs> if a girl says, I want a guy that, like that's that's like a, a ridiculous concept, because if I was to tell a girl, hey, you want a guy that's taller than you and stronger than you and more ambitious or whatever? You're insecure. You're fucking stupid. You can't even. God damn. You can't God do it yourself. Damn. Dumb bitch. You can't but, do it. But no, but no one would Still dare single? say that to a woman. No one would dare challenge a woman's preferences because it is what it is. Guys just accept it. But women cannot accept when men will have their preferences. And it just tends to be the opposite of what you guys want. You want taller, stronger, more ambitious, more confident, more money. Men want. More feminine, more beautiful, younger, attractive women. You know what I think it is? I think women don't really want to understand us as men. They just want us to fit in a role for them. And as a result, no matter how much we tell you guys the truth, you're like, fuck that shit. This is how it should be. So, matter of fact, we tell you guys the truth. We're messengers here on the panel. Hey, don't get mad at us. Just is this. We're just telling you what men really say so, behind closed doors and we'll much. never tell girls because they're gonna get, you know, and I hate to use you as an example, but most women will respond the way you're responding right now. You're insecure. This is small dick energy. Oh, uh, you, you guys just want to be able to manipulate girls or whatever. No, it's not about manipulating. It's about you want to buy the car with the least mileage if you're going to go on a long trip. That long trip is across country, and you don't want to buy a car with a bunch of mileage on it that's not going to make the trip. And then it's good to know what you sign up for because, for example, you might want this guy with all these uh, standards and all this like you know going on, but his lifestyle, hey, we sign up for is going to be a lot. So either you want the average guy doing his thing, you want a guy with six figures, or you understand, you know what, this is what I'm signing up for. Cool, I'm okay with that. If not, then you're, you're, you're like a rude, rude awakening. No, but I, I really like her points, though, because yeah. what, what you've done is basically that, that's a, the most common argument we get from women yeah. uh, when we say what men are really attracted to on a balance of probabilities. That's the number that like insecure or whatever it may be, which is fine. You know, I think it's a great discussion. Yeah. But I think uh, once women understand that we are not the same and we're attracted to obviously like pretty much the polar opposites of each other, mm -hmm. I think it'll be a lot better. But I think one of the biggest mistakes that women make is thinking that attraction is symmetrical when in reality it's asymmetrical we're attracted to different things and that's okay but we live in a world now where what women are attracted to is to be appreciated and respected what men are attracted to to be is to be made fun of ridiculed and insulted long story short niggas trying to bust some nuts yeah. <laughs> that's what it really is we're young bad bitches man yeah uh, okay. i have a quick question for oh, you but she has something okay. gotcha, gotcha. go ahead sorry oh, oh yes. you lost it yeah no, no i got it i got it so um long term for the men um if you gave yourself if if a man had 50 million dollars right mm -hmm. in general and then for the rest of his life he would either have like one woman a wife and one woman to spend the rest of their life with and build or would you rather have 
$50 million and just like endless amount of women and just continue to get women often, but so, you never settle down. So what are the two scenarios? $50 million and- It's $50 million regardless, but you get $50 million and you get one woman, one woman that you settle down and create a life with, mm -hmm. or you get, or you can never like settle down and you have like multiple women, but you still have like, you know, $50 million. How, what would you pick? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. So wait, 50 what? million dollars. Yeah, 50 right? million dollars. Yeah. Monogamous relationship one with one girl, woman. And I can't cheat. Well, I'm talking about long term. Like later so on So like the life, white picket like, fence, the family, you know, the yeah, thing that like, you guys aspire. 50, 50 yeah. million dollars and I got all the girls I want. And you'll yeah, never. Much like you can never right. settle down. Like you're you're just constantly with multiple different women. The city mm -hmm. boys, we up. This is pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, all the guys in here. Yo, yo, uh, Black Wolf. What would you want? Video uh, again. So fifty million dollars, right? Uh, you have one girl, and that's your main girl. Nobody else. That's it. White picket fence. Happy family. That's it. Or fifty million bucks, unlimited access to girls, just like back to back. What would yeah, you like never settle down. It sounds like you second have both. <laughs> you, you hear what he said? No. No. He said it sounds like I, I got both. Basically, is what he's saying. No, yeah. you got it. You got no. You can no. have one, or you just pick one. You have to pick. Yeah, that's not the scenario. Like you have to pick. You you either settle down with one person and create and start a life? Life, family and life, or you have you endless women and you never do that. Yeah, you but... never settle down. I mean, I'm in a precious position, sure, but if I'm not, I take what I can get. But... Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> Which one? You heard what he said? Yeah, no, I heard what he said. I mean, just uh, we should give him the mic, but uh, I mean, just repeat real quick. So yeah, he basically. Uh, Wait, he, he said, uh, if you were in fresh position, you would just take the girls, right? Yeah. Yeah. He would, he would take the girls. Just take the yeah, he would, take, he would take the, he would take the girls. Yeah. I mean, would I be able to, just, just to make sure I completely understand the scenario, if I was in this monogamous relationship with this one girl, would I still be able to smash other chicks? No. Or no? No. 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 Would it be a monogamous? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, then no, I would 100% have the, the endless women and, and the money. And you can never settle down. Like, you would never okay. create a family, kids, a life. And you would just have multiple women. It is what it is, man. I'd, pro I'd, pro I'd probably, I'd probably go with the endless women, and then, yeah. So because you value money more than family. Well, both scenarios, what? you have fifty million dollars. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you got the film, but I mean, fifty just... million dollars has nothing to do with having a family, though. No, 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 but but she mentioned the money explicitly. No, I did mention the money because, like, I wanted to do, like, you know how. Have... I wanted to do somebody. Yeah, that there's has no financial money. difference, really, as of what exactly. you're saying. Exactly. Like, I, I get it. I, I get it. No, I would. I would. I would go with the, the girls. I, I would go with. I would go with just smashing a bunch of chicks because I mean that's that's every guy's dream. Like, if you look at like Hugh Hefner, Dan I'm talking Blazarian. about later on in life, like when like when you get to that age. You Hugh just, Hefner. Multiple women. Hugh Hefner. I'm not talking about now when you're young. I'm talking about like Hugh Hefner. Future reference. When okay, but he can't get hard he's, anyway. it, he's one person. I'm talking. I'm asking you guys. Like, what I'm saying is this. <laughs> If you get left the man to his own devices, most guys are going to have sex with as many girls as they can, and they just won't want to settle. That's why people like Hugh Hefner, Dan Blazarian, these playboys, whatever, they're widely respected by men all around the world because it is very difficult for men to get girls in general. So any guy that can do it on command typically gets respect. You know what I'm saying? There's billionaires that struggle with women that can't even get them, and they have all the money in the world. So it's a very universally respected trait when a man is able to attract women. You know what I'm saying? And and maintain them and have harems of them. It's it's always been uh, respected. You know, you walk into a club by yourself, it's one thing. But if you walk into a club with three beautiful women by your side, then people are looking and asking questions. So it is what it is. So I, for me, I would just be banging the endless women and, you know, potentially I might not be able to have kids. It is what it is. But um, who knows? Maybe in 10 years, my mind would change. But I would say right now at this point, yeah, I would probably just have the $50 million and just live the Playboy life for a while. So you wouldn't want to leave a legacy? Like you wouldn't care? Nigga, we gonna die anyway. <laughs> legacy, yeah. what? I mean, yeah, but you so are true. your legacy of somebody. Nigga, I'm not gonna be here. <laughs> I don't care what happens after that. Okay, so what's your answer? So, so multiple women? Uh, just from my experience, man. Like, uh, personally, I will want to say number one, just because like being with one person having adventures is pretty dope. I think that's like every man's man's dream as well to like have also a family. Um, settle down, but in the West here, man, it's tough because he's holds for the streets, man. So mm -hmm. I, I gotta go with number two. Yeah, Un yeah. Unless you find that girl that's gonna be legit there for you and help you along the way, but even then, it's like it's tough over here. And I know I wouldn't be able to be monogamous. I th I think as a man, uh, of, especially if you once you reach a certain status, being monogamous is the dumbest thing you could do as a guy. And also being married here in, in the West, <laughs> yeah. If she decides to say, hey, you know what? I'm tired of this lifestyle. I'm tired of you. I'm mm -hmm. gone. I'm yeah. gonna lose half your stuff. Absolutely.
Absolutely. Uh, so you had a question, right? Yeah. Um, I just wanted to say, first of all, I feel like a man Mark. because I agree with both of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> like I would take the fifty million dollars, like fuck it, like be who with whoever I want. It's worth the price of monogamy. I really don't care. But then again, I, this raises the question to you specifically. Mm -hmm. Um, that um car and mileage analogy that yeah. you had with women. Do you yeah. think it mic. also applies to men? To the mic. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, not at all. Because because um if a man has had sex with a lot of women mm -hmm. i know for a fact he's brought some kind of value to the world whether he has money mm -hmm. he's attractive he has status whatever it is it's not easy to sleep with women as, as a guy you have to bring value when you deal with women period right mm -hmm. so i already know by virtue of him having sex with a lot of girls he's doing something right but if a girl's had sex with a lot of dudes you know that she's doing something very wrong because as men have sex with a lot of girls it means they have value to some degree when women have sex with a lot of dudes they've lost their value Definitely to a certain degree. So men and women don't play by the same set of rules when it comes to sex and relationships in general. Yeah, I get it. But like you say this, and I'm also like, so should I never trust a man in my entire life ever again? Yes. Well, I never said that. Goddamn. <laughs> but like, how do we get there? You know, I know, That's exactly. What I know. Said. I get it. But like, but like at the same time, I'm like, so and you're telling me basically what men want is a not all men, obviously, you know, some men. Um, they're not super like monogamous or, you know, you would prefer to rather have these like hundred of chicks and stuff like that. So like I get it and I get what you say in terms of, you know, the sex thing of like you yeah. know, women have like, you know, if you sleep with a lot of guys, you have lower standards and, you know, it's easier for you. But at the same time, I'm like, so like, should I ever trust a man again? Like, is this something? No, that it's I not about do? not trusting a guy. We're just being honest with you that, like, if mm -hmm. if if a man was left to his own devices, he's gonna want to have sex with a lot of girls, mm -hmm. you know. And and it just what it really comes down to is like, does is he capable of doing it? Mm -hmm. I would argue ninety five percent of guys are not capable of doing it. So you'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? Because a, a lot of guys want to be able to do it, but they can't. Unless you live in Hialeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Every day. But I I always tell girls shoot for the stars, get the best guy that you can get, and accept the fact that he to share him sexually sexually at least yes. that does not mean that he's gonna love you less because a man is capable of loving his girl but fucking other chicks 100 mm -hmm. it's just that women can't fathom that because for you guys if you have sex with another dude that definitely means you're not in love with your husband anymore or your boyfriend or whoever, whoever your significant other yeah. uh, other is women are capable of doing it most of the time but men definitely are and even so even before you guys even cheat you already mentally disconnected from that guy yeah. in your head so it's like Mental oh you know what out. it's over already so i can i'm gonna do what i want I have a quick question. Last question. Uh, sorry, oh, no, I'm being like no. super nervous. Was, was there anyone else that had some? Um, I was just going to say to your car analogy, I think for guys, yeah. when it comes to women, is if he has a bunch of baby mamas. Like that's, <laughs> no, that's like oh the one God. thing. You could be sleeping with, you have a high body count, all the other stuff, but you have a bunch of different households. Clearly, mm -hmm. you're not going to take care of mine. So mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. like the high mm -hmm. mileage for guys. Hold on, real quick. Let's read your chats because they were pedaling while we were talking for that period of okay. time. Okay, just hold on. You, keep, ha you have some, right? Yeah, keep your question. Keep okay. your question. I'll, I'll answer it right after. And then for any okay. of the ladies that didn't go yet, have something ready or, or not, you could tell us.